Just to move on for a second to lettuce, lettuce and lavage, it seems to me that the third time I, I, I felt a terrific social response to my work is in the, particularly in the stirring, the immense stirring, certainly in Great Britain, and I think to a large extent here too, of the public, to uh, architecture. To, uh, it has awakened a, a kind of sleeping fury. I mean, it was sleeping before, but no longer now. When they contemplate the hideous world that has largely been created for them by planners and by so-called architects and by people who are knighted and given awards and decorations for making the world an abominable place to live in visually. And I mean, I thought this was just a preoccupation of mine and, you know, a few other people. One discovered yet again, by the, you know, I can only judge this by letters and by people. The shoulder of letters that came in were like the letters that I received on Equus or the letters I received from Amadeus. Uh, it's very comforting for a playwright to feel that the world out there uh, shares his preoccupations and his indignations. Because you can feel you have to write it alone, the play, and you feel that you may be, a, you know, just a lone voice. You hear all the characters speak in your voice. Uh, it, it, what you are conducting is, for a long time, a monologue. There are two, of course, clear stages in, a, in, in writing a play. They are absolutely opposed to each other and antithetical. The first is sitting alone in a room hearing all the characters in your own voice. The second is when you meet all these people, actors, directors, uh, theatre people, producers, lighting men, set men, all that. And then the public, it just gets bigger and bigger in, the, in terms of the number of people involved in the experience. And in this case, it's been a joy in the three, those three plays to feel that in each occasion, I, I, the things that were interesting me also interested a great many other people. And if you suffer, as I do a bit from, oh, I used to suffer from a sense of invisibility, I, uh, kind of thing, you know, a, f a feeling of being invisible, this is one way of conf uh, confirming, in some measure, to you the fact that you exist, that you do exist.